Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rowan Lyron Witch and for those of you who are new, welcome. For those of my returning subscribers who book one-on-one -on -one readings and Reiki sessions with me, Akashic Records Healing and Pet Communication, thank you. Um, thank you for your comments, your likes, your subscribes. It is all greatly appreciated. And if you're new here, I really hope that you get what you need from this message. All right, so we're going to hop in today. Um, the first thing that's coming up is that there is somebody, a reverse king of cups, trying to block an opportunity for you or the person you're thinking of. This reverse king of cups is somebody that feels slighted by you in the past. There's two different scenarios. The first scenario is that this is a father figure or like an older man that you're related to. For a lot of you, this could be a father um, who feels upset by a major life decision that you made that they may have been guiding you towards or assisting you financially towards or something like this. Um, and by you making the decision that you made, they feel that it reflects poorly on them. So this is this could be a dad that is upset that you changed your major in college when they were rooting you on or, or helping fund that, or you changed your career path, or you went to trade school and decided not to pursue the family trade or something like that. Um, maybe even not wanting to adopt or take on a family business for some of you. For others, this is a dear friend who at some point was very romantically interested in you and had told people that you were already involved romantically. And whenever they brought this up to you, you rejected them or said you didn't feel the same way or whatever. And this person had to like slyly go behind your back and tell all the people that they had told you were already together that it hadn't worked out. So there's a lot of people who actually thought that you led this person on, um, for those of you who resonate with that part of it. But th this is somebody who feels slighted, okay? And this person is invested in blocking this Ace of Pentacles that's coming into your life. The Ace that's coming in is a Queen of Pentacles energy. Now, this could be any gender, but for a lot of you, this is a femme or a woman that you're like interested in or like a divine counterpart of some sort. So again, no matter if you're queer or if you're a man, whatever it is for you, like there's there's somebody coming into your energy or trying to come into your energy that spirit has really been trying to send to you. This person is going to help you work through some of your fears because they are working through similar fears. So you have a lot in common in terms of your background in terms of the moon in your life, the moon energy being um, things that are hangups for you, things that you're like your shadow self. This person will understand and accept your shadow self because they're also working on theirs. And this is a very positive energy. This is somebody who's already financially stable, um, emotionally stable, mentally stable. For some of you, you need to hear that because you've had people who were like off and on your whole life. If you had a father figure like this, you might have dealt with some people that were really, um, like, off, you know? But because this King of Cups in Reverse is blocking this person from coming in in whatever way, be it through energy work or through knowing this person in some way, maybe this is a family friend, um, or this could be a friend of a friend type of situation and this person's trying to talk them out of it, there's some kind of energy here of them trying to block this. This is leaving you feeling like there's too many options. Um, there's too many options in love and you're kind of giving up, kind of reconsidering this hangman energy. Um, that's what they're projecting towards you. Some of these King of Cups in Reverse, though, are not taking action in the physical in that way. And they are doing this as a sort of projection, like mental or emotional energy of just wanting you to reconsider all of your life decisions or be overwhelmed by the life that you're currently living. For some of you, this actually has to do with, like, your spiritual beliefs or your religious beliefs, and this person condemns them and truly doesn't want you to continue down the path that you're on because 
I don't know what this is supposed to be in this cup right now, but it looks to me like a church. That's what I saw when I first looked at it. It's like a little cathedral, and this person's like returned to church. And um, this might even be a queen of pentacles that you know that's like a high priestess or a witch or like an energy worker or somebody that's like tapped into the spirit world. Their divine feminine energy is on point, they are stable with it, and they are not questioning their beliefs. And I feel like that's part of what is drawing you two together. Because this is somebody that would be a good match for you. This is somebody that spirit is trying to send into your life and they keep like kind of hitting snares in sending this person in. This reverse king of cups really wants to hurt you because they felt very hurt by whatever this perceived slight is. Um this rejection that they felt. And what I'm hearing from Spirit is that you didn't mean this person any harm, and the decision you made was yours to make. Like, that's not this person's decision. And yet, they're out here seeking, like, petty revenge, you know? They're really, yeah. Okay, for a lot of you, this is spell work with the King of Wands coming up. Just a confirmation. For some of you, this is a Leo. I'm also hearing Pisces and Gemini. So it could be any of those signs. It doesn't have to be, but I'm seeing that as well. Could also be an Aquarius. And with this star energy, I'm actually feeling that part of the reason this person felt so slighted by you and really wants to block this two of cups from coming in for you with this like queen of pentacles, good energy, literally they want to keep the sun out of your life because they're very jealous of you. They see that you have this star potential. They knew that something good was going to come in. You know, for the sun to even come up, even in the reverse in your reading, means you're destined for it. It's just a matter of time. When's this going to flip over? But it's like they're trying to prevent you from balancing this out. This person might be somebody who comes in with very, like, negative communication. Um, yeah, they're trying to prevent your strength from holding you to whatever this is because you are typically somebody who's really dedicated to what you start like you finish things and if you don't finish them right away you'll go on for years I feel like you have endurance and you have this it's like you lock onto something with this laser focus and you'll just keep working through it whatever comes up you're coming up as the emperor and that's why this reverse king of cups is very frustrated because the emperor goes through the lessons and masters the lessons of all of the kings in tarot. So this king of cups has not been able to master the other energies. He's in basically a reverse king of wands energy, which is like using their, letting their passion get ahead of them, letting their emotions get the best of them. They haven't mastered that at all. And they see that you can lock in on something and know what you're about. You don't let people sway you. Um, you don't let people watching you, um, making their judgments bother you. You know, like literally you're not up at night having anxiety about the decisions you made. That's this person having the anxiety. And it, it's like they want you to feel this anxiety that they feel. They see that you're somebody who's very spiritually advanced with the Hierophant coming up in reverse though it, it's like they see how advanced you are and they're very upset that you feel stable in this like spiritual belief or religious system that they don't agree with but they can't argue with the fact that it's working for you but they don't like it they just it's like they don't want to see it there's cognitive dissonance here they they're balancing the two realities of i don't want this to be true but i see it happening and because of this cognitive dissonance, they're just like, their only thought is to prevent you from meeting other people in some way that have this shared understanding. Like a lot of you are star seeds, and this person is thinks that that is you thinking that you're an elitist or thinking that you're better than everybody else. And I know you don't think that. I see that you don't think that because... You have a very humble energy. Like, it's this very strong, humble energy with the Emperor. This is, like, a very masterful energy. And that's why this person is so triggered by it. I feel that for a lot of you, 
you have, if this is a parent for you, your mother is not assisting with this situation. Like, she enables this person. For those of you who this is a friend, this person has, like, a very catty friend, like a catty female friend, maybe, who's, like, assisting them in whatever this plan is. They might even do spell work together. Yeah, this is something that they work towards together. Like, they've been working on you for a long time. Their goal is basically to make sure that you don't get what you have been working towards, what you deserve, that you don't get the new start. Because they feel that with this new start, you're going to get further away from them. Yeah. What I'm seeing, though, is that there's a lot of attacks coming in on your crown chakra, and spirit has been blocking this. So if you were dealing with like migraines, headaches, um, even like blink seeing blinking lights or of some sort. Like obviously I'm not a doctor, so check to see if it's medical first. Please actually consult a doctor if you're having those things happen. But I feel that there could be a spiritual component for a lot of you. I have to say this is for entertainment purposes, so please don't take this as medical advice. That's not what it's meant to be. It is, however, meant to give additional information because your physical body is always linked with your spiritual, okay? But I, I feel that for a lot of you, there's been this, like, yeah, just this reign of either depression or apathy type of energies trying to rain down on your head. And you're like, why? I never feel this way. And it's a new thing for you within the past few months. It's so that they they can block this for you. Like I said, they do not want you to cooperate with others. They don't want you to meet other people in your community. They don't want you to grow your magic abilities. These are the This person is the type of like magician, dark magician, who goes to church and prays that their sins be removed every week. There's so many more people who do that than a lot of people realize. Like, all they can focus on is their embarrassment that you're not the person that they, like, wanted you to look like to others. Or that you haven't, you know, for those of you who this is somebody that was romantically interested in you, they had this idea of what their life was going to be like with you. And they see how abundant you're becoming, and they're envious. They are so envious. Yeah, this person isn't able to bring things into their physical life. Like, they don't know how to manifest properly. So their goal is to, like, hold others back. They don't want to see people succeed. They don't want to see you succeed. This person does petty spell work on a lot of people, however. What else, please, spirit? For some of you, this person that's going to come in, this um, divine partner that spirit wants to bring into your life, is going to assist you in your shadow work because that's what part of their spiritual mission is. They actually help lots of people with that. Um, it's like you're going to mentor each other. You're going to work with your spirit guides together. I feel that you, or whoever you're thinking of that this reading resonates for, are very in touch with your spirit guides or your deities who assist you in this life. And you help other people interact with their spirit guides. And if you're not doing that now, I think you will be. And this other person is like a shadow work alchemist. Like, they're really good at moving this heavy energy away from other people. Like, teaching people how to work through that, how to go through the desert. See, live in the moment and be able to like mindfully exist through pain and be able to transmute it into something good. So this person's had a lot of trauma and they help other people to weather the storm. So together, both of you will be able to help a lot of people if you choose to. 
Yeah. This person who, like, wants to come in for you guys, is they might be an artist or somebody that's a really out-of-the-box thinker. Like, they might be kind of eccentric. Um, and they destroy social norms. So this is somebody who would be very shocking to this other, if this is a family member who's like embarrassed of how you made them look or something, this person would shock the hell out of them or is shocking the hell out of them. Um, for some of you, this, this new person might have come in already, but there's like all of these hiccups to getting to know them or getting to interact with them. Like you haven't, you might not have had time to offer each other the amount of energy or interaction that you want to for whatever reason, just because of a lot of outside circumstances. And it's because of this rain of weird energy coming in but it's being projected at you to make you feel like this is a problem in yourself or that you're going to question yourself about it um i feel like this person is a really good force in your life please don't question yourself about it focus instead on your protection and on your clearing so i would definitely take like a spiritual bath using salt to clear this person this like reverse king of cups energy away from you especially focusing on your head you could do like a rosemary wash on your head yeah spirit is saying like you're a warrior please don't get overly stressed about this just banish this person's energy from your life we have the warrior and the gem coming up here. Some of you are very aligned with crystals, and it's really important that you work with your crystals and ask them to protect you at this time. Some of you are like me and work with crystal skulls a lot. Work with your crystal skulls. Work with them for protection. They're amazing at that. They will assist you. You have a whole army in the unseen that's making sure that this person can't block this connection. What else would you like them to know, please? What else would you like the collective to know, please? <laughs> Protection, resiliency. Yeah, you're in this warrior mode right now. You can work with the energy of not lead. Um, call in not lead into your magical protection. It'll help you to prepare for anything else this person's going to try to do and allow you to nurture this connection that's coming up with this new person. Yeah, the main thing that this spell work is trying to do is block your inspiration. This person's going to be very inspiring to you and is going to help you step into some very new things. Some of you have either been artists and had to drop it for some reason or just felt burned out. Others of you haven't explored art yet, but are going to with this person, and it's going to be really healing for you. We have divine ancestors and the energy of the deer and the elk coming up to let you know that you're very protected. Like I was saying, you have this whole army in the unseen. Some of you are children of Karananos, and he's protecting you at this time. Some of you have ancestors that are in your corner. And if you're not connected with your divine ancestors yet, absolutely connect with them. Um, it doesn't have to be people you know. Some of our divine ancestors go really far back in history. Trust the information that comes through. Uh, it's very interesting how they'll lead you to more about your family. Look how much protection is coming up for you guys. Emotion, sensitivity, and intensity. I will call on the energy of Turtle as well, because Turtle is a master of grounding through difficulties and also being able to... Oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, and also being able to move through emotions, explore your emotions more deeply with this other person. I love that they both of the Turtles came up. That's so cool. Yeah, clarity, communication, insight. If you're not able to interact with this person physically right now... Just talk to them. And if you haven't met them yet, just think of it as it might take a little bit longer than you're used to for this to ground into something like that would you would recognize as like a stereotypical we're in a relationship. But it will be worth it. The groundwork will be solid when you get there, okay? Anything else, please? 
Okay, I'm hearing no. So that's what I have for you guys today. I'm sending you lots of love and peace. Please be sure to leave me a comment if this resonated. Um, and let me know what you think. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.